Hi, I'm Severio from Onet Plugins. Um, today, I want to show you one particular feature of our Total EQ. Total EQ is a, a visual equalizer that lets you shape the signal you have uh, using uh, the spectrum analyzer and uh, up to 12 uh, different bands. Each band may work as up to uh, 17 different filters. You have uh, low pass, high pass, band pass, you have uh, bells, you have a shelvis, you have all the filters you need to um, uh, shape the signal in the way you want. But we also offer one particular feature of um, Total EQ, that is the dynamic mode. Uh, with the dynamic mode, you uh, can use any of the filter as a dynamic EQ. That means that uh, uh, the uh, amount of um, equal equalization applied is dependent on the input of the level in that particular band. So uh, if you only have um, a particular note that causes a problem, in the example we are go I'm going to show you is a bass uh, note that is uh, too high in level, so we are gonna tame just like just that note using a, um, a, sh a particular filter on that frequency that is going to react only if uh, uh, the note is playing. Uh, with traditional EQ, you would have probably uh, cut off the frequency every time, so also when it's not needed. But with a dynamic EQ, you can act only when uh, that particular frequency is uh, going to be too loud. Uh, usually, a dynamic EQ has a threshold uh, parameter that uh, needs to be crossed by the signal for the EQ to work. Uh, in a total EQ, we decided to have an automatic threshold. That means that actually the whole signal is uh, integrated and compared to the level of the, of, the, of the signal processed by the filter you have chosen. So uh, if the level of uh, the, the, the filter is uh, much higher than the level of the unfiltered signal, then we have a resonance and uh, we are going to uh, activate the dynamic mode. And the amount of the activation is proportional to the difference of uh, the two signals. So if you say, I want to have uh, a 6 dB of gain reduction on that particular frequency, it's going to be 6 dB only if the level is uh, uh, really much louder on that point than uh, the unfiltered signal. That means that we have a, a very strong resonance, otherwise is applied uh, um, dynamically to the level. So uh, you will see the, the yellow line that indicates the actual gain reduction that moves uh, with the sound, because when the sound is stronger, the reduction is uh, higher. And the same goes uh, for uh, positive gains, because a, a dynamic EQ can be also used to add level where it, uh, it's missing. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I will show you the guy of the plugin and how the, the filter works. So here we have our guy. Uh, I have already prepared a track that is problematic. I'm going to put my headphones on so you have a listen and uh, you see, will see that the bass track is too heavy and uh, also there is a couple of resonances and a lack of highs that we are going to uh, fix with a uh, dynamic EQ. So it's already clear that we have a problem in the bus region. As soon as I activate one filter, I get the peak spectrum here. So I see the maximum level that uh, I have uh, in each region. Since I, I toggled a new band in this area, we already set the filter to low shelf type resonant in this case. And we are going to first find graphically where it has to start 
and I think it'll be around this region because the shape is so similar, then using uh, the dragging on uh, the gain number, I will set a negative 6 dB for a start and activate the dynamic mode. You see that the area here becomes red, the same color of the control dot and the color of the first filter. And this uh, indicates the all area that can be used by the filter to apply the gain reduction. Uh, we probably won't cover the whole area because this yellow line shows the actual gain reduction that is taking place. So I will, uh, to find the, the right spot, I will simply drag the level from the, from the gain box here until the movements of the yellow line are uh, at the point that I like. That means that if uh, this is 6 dB, half here is 3 dB. So I go with this rule and I, and I try listening to, 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 the, to how the track sound to find the right spot. I think this is already at the right spot. You see that I've set here uh, negative 7.1 dB is totally arbitrary because uh, what I did was uh, uh, dragging this down, have a look at uh, how the yellow line behaves and uh, uh, listening to it until it sounded good to my ears. So it's not a scientific process, but something that uh, is to has to be done uh, using your ears. Then you see that we also have another problematic area here when the, the guitar lies. So we are gonna fix this too. This time we are gonna use a more narrow cue because we want to only get these frequencies here. I don't know, I start again at negative 6 dB and then find out where the right spot is. Okay, this is probably good, as uh, I did before, I just found the right frequency, swiping and listening, and uh, then using, uh, dragging these two uh, boxes here, one for the gain and the other one for the frequencies, and also the, I used a quite a larger cue than what I started with, I found the sweet spot where I like the dynamic cue to work. I never get negative 10, negative, uh, 10 dBs of reduction because uh, I, it's too much, but it's uh, exactly the same, the, the point where it has to be to make it work like, uh, I don't know, probably 3 dBs or something like that. And uh, this is the right amount of uh, reduction in this spot. Then uh, I want to also have a, a boost on the high frequencies because uh, it's a little bit too dark. 
So I will add um, high pass, high shell, sorry, and uh, I will start arbitrarily at 4K, give something like 3 dB, is no more than that, and uh, um, activate the dynamic mode. Here we have to work in reverse because uh, since there, is not, there are not much highs, uh, we are probably going to have uh, the yellow line that is hit almost constantly here, applying the right amount of, um, of gain to make it brighter. But we want to uh, come back here and bring it back to dark when the hi-hats or the snare hits hard and uh, we don't want them over brightly. So uh, I'll uh, try to figure out where is the, the right amount of gain uh, dragging this indicator once again. Okay, so here we are, this is the right point, because when the bus is placed, it's playing hard and you get a sensation, um, a darker feeling of the track, uh, there is a, a much more gain applied up to 2 dB, that is the maximum I gave in here. But when the dark, the bus is silent and you feel the track is brighter, there is um, no uh, gain applied because uh, you can hear perfectly the high heads and snare. So with this, with these uh, uh, settings, we can have uh, a more balanced track that um, has a cue applied only when it needed. I'm going to let you hear uh, the track with the uh, cue bypassed and the cue on, so you can hear for yourself uh, the differences. So the track is clearly more balanced and uh, it's um, nicer sounding. This is uh, done with just three bands of dynamic EQ. So this is a Hornet Total EQ. This is just one of the features of the plugin. You can go on our website uh, www.hornetplugins.com and try out the demo for the plugin. And if you have any suggestion, any question, or simply want to say hi, just drop us a line. Thank you very much for watching this video.